refinishing our dresser. Um, it's been white and gray for the last two years. It's originally like a cherry oak, very, very nice dresser, um, but obviously didn't go with the decor, so I painted it, and now I'm going to repaint it. The top was gray, inside the drawers were gray, and the outside was out. The drawers are in the other room, I'm gonna show you in a sec. But what I am doing today is giving it a fresh coat of white paint on the bottom and then I'm going to actually epoxy marble the top. So that's going to be interesting. I did a bathroom and it came out good. I loved it. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit different, um, like a little different marble on here, but that's the plan. I already started sanding. So I'm going to start with a higher grit, like, or a lower grit rather something more rough um, because the top is so crazy oh, and then I'm gonna go with something a little more fine like a 400 or 600 grit over it so yeah that's it so far and here are the drawers they're laying on some old curtains um, and here's everything that goes in the drawers that are in laundry baskets right now um, I filled in the holes of the big ones because I am changing it from a single mount knob to um, a two hole um, handle pull. Uh, the middle ones are going to stay single so I left those out but these are jewelry drawers which I'm going to refresh the felt in. I may or may not, I don't know, only because this looks horrible but honestly no one sees it and I don't know what that is. I think it was jewelry cleaner or something. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna put this back on the tripod and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the painting, well, with the sanding. Um, I'm gonna start with 80 grit and then work my way up to, I think this is 400. You know I look stylish today in hubby's pants and his beautiful shirt. <laughs> My hair is also gorgeous. So I forgot to mention, I'm going to epoxy the top first because I did it the other way around in our bathroom and I ended up having to retouch a lot after I epoxied because I guess I just didn't tape off too well and it got everywhere. Not everywhere, but it got in places and I had to retouch. So to avoid doing double work, where is the grasshopper? Isn't he beautiful? Oh, look at him. Or her. Hi. So I just had a thought. When I did our bathroom, I did two coats of primer and then I put a white tinted epoxy on top. What I think I'm going to do here is since the top is gray and hey, marble is white and gray tones. I'm going to leave this as the base as opposed to priming it and just put a pearly marble, not pearly marble, pearl epoxy white as a base to kind of swirl it into the gray, not completely fully cover it. You know what I mean? Maybe not, but we'll see how it looks. Okay. Ooh, I can't breathe like this. No. Ooh. Suffocating me slow I'm sick and I need your love But I can't get enough of you
still cloudy and I did see reviews on Amazon after the purchase obviously that this thing just sometimes just doesn't get cloudy. like a white pearl powder. I'm gonna put some in there just to have like a pearly white base. bugs are gonna fly in it and they like flock to this stuff in paint for some reason they're they smell it and they flock to it so um, I've made my peace with it <laughs> I may have a bug or two buried within my coats this one 
So it's like, all right, let me finish it first. We need a password.
Okay. And this is the mess that I made while doing it. This is the result of the madness that was happening. So I just got out of the shower and I thought I'd show you progress. My camera died earlier so I couldn't film the rest. So um, I figure I, feel, I film an update. My goodness, where is my head? Um, so yeah, I went through and I did two coats of primer and I have done the first coat of Chantilly Lace by Sherwin-Williams. Um, there's the empty can there and shoot over here and we have done top clear coat of epoxy. So I decided to add some faux, not real, well yeah, obviously because it's not real marble, but some faux like ugly spots because you know nature is not always perfect. So what I did was did a blob of um, the silver sparkly things. I can't think right now. The silver glitter and then I with alcohol and then I blew it out to kind of like disperse it and I did the same thing over there so I have like two you know purposely unperfect parts if that makes sense you know. So um, yeah here is the finished product really until it dries it's pretty much done. Oh my god god look at this shit look at this Look at this shit. Why? Why why would you why would you do this to yourself? Why? Now you ruined a masterpiece. I'm gonna go get a tweezer and tweeze this stupid guy out. Um but yeah, here's my finished product. Wait, 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 wait. Did you guys catch that? Rewind. Look at this shine oh my god this is better than i even imagined it would be in the end wow this is beautiful exceeded my expectations for sure even with the wrong epoxy it's perfect What do you think guys? Isn't it spectacular? I absolutely love it. This is literally a dream. It's like a new piece of furniture and I cannot believe that I created it. Oh my god. I love the imperfection. I love how everything blended together. It's just exactly what I wanted. Wow. I am amazed at my own self.